In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to draw Venn diagrams for sets. The question reads, draw a Venn diagram and shade the region representing A and B. A reads, we have a set A, and it's in union with the complement of B. So I've drawn a square, and this square represents our universal set in which A and B are found. I'll call this U. And I'll draw two circles that represent A and B. This circle right here represents A, and this one represents B. And notice that they're connected because I'm assuming they're non-disjoint sets. Now when we're talking about unions between two sets, and in this case set A and the complement of B, start off by understanding what complement of B means. Complement of B means anything that's not inside of B. So what's not inside of B? All of what's inside this universal box, except for what's inside here. Now just recall the union of two sets, in our case A and the complement of B, is the set of all elements that belong to A or to the complement of B or to both. So I'll begin by shading everything inside of U except for this area right here. And also don't forget that this part also belongs to A. So notice that I've highlighted all of A and I've highlighted all of the complement of B. That's the answer to question A, let's move on to B. In B we have to create a Venn diagram for the complement of A and there's an intersection with the set B in union with set C, and they're in parentheses. Once again, I'll assume that these are not disjoint. So I'll begin by drawing a square representing the universal set in which they all belong. That right there is the universal set, and I'll draw three circles connected to each other representing set A, B, and C. We'll say that this is A, B, and C. We'll start over here, what's inside the parentheses, we have the union of B and C. The union of B and C represents everything that's in B or C or both. So I'll highlight all of B, all of C, and now let's understand what the complement of A represents. That represents that everything that's not in A. So what's not in A is what's represented in this universal box. Let me highlight that as well. Now we'll take it all together. We have the complement of A intersecting with B and C. Now if you don't recall, what an intersection means is the set of all elements that belong to both, in our case, the complement of A and the union between B and C. In other words, we're looking for elements in which are in common here and over here. With that being said, since A is empty, given that it's the complement of A, we cannot include this part of the Venn diagram. So notice that I'm erasing the shaded region here, and I'm making sure that A is completely empty, because that's what's shared between the union of these two sets and the complement of A. And there you have it, two examples on how to draw Venn diagrams for sets.